You guys ready to start the show? I talked to Mr. Callahan, who had been my art teacher and now was just Stephen to me. And I said, Stephen, because that was so really fun, calling my former teachers by their first names. And Stephen, what are we doing after parent-teacher conferences? He goes, oh, we're getting drunk. I was like, splendid. <laughs> so we go, down to, uh, we go down to this place that used to be in the West Village in Manhattan called Jekyll and Hyde, which was the corniest fucking, it was like this horror-themed restaurant that like, if 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 like if like the Hard Rock's theme was really lame horror, I'm not doing it justice at all. There would be a butler called Dreadworthy, and he would come around and he would take your orders in this sort of gothic voice like this, and and uh, there would be like little things that would pop out of the walls and scare you and stuff. And the music was terrible. And we went in, and uh, Mr. Callahan had the foresight to reserve the laboratory, which was the special upstairs room at Jekyll and Hyde. So we go up there. And um, we sit down, and it's Mr. Callahan, who had been my art teacher and was now my colleague. Uh, Mr. Cohen, who had been my biology teacher, was now my colleague. Uh, Miss Axelrod, Mrs. Axelrod, who had been my English teacher, was now my colleague. And, uh, and true story, Senora Blumenthal, uh, which if you want a story about New York City, that's all I have to tell you. I had <laughs> Spanish teacher named Senora Blumenthal. That's New York. Ta-da. You want more? Fine. She was the faculty advisor for the Muslim club. Not kidding. Anyway, so I'm, uh, it's all these teachers sitting around. Here I am. I'm a teacher, and I'm going to get drunk with my colleagues. And, uh, uh, but I figure, like, I'm just going to get my buzz on. But remember, I've lost a pint of blood. I've lost a pint of blood. So the drinks come in, and uh, I'm like, yeah, five fucking parents showed up. And they're like, oh, five. You had a nice crop. That's good. Good for you, man. That's good. Usually for the special ed kids, nobody shows up. I'm like, wow, that's shatteringly depressing. That's, I can barely even keep my head up. That's such a fucking bummer. And, uh, and we're all kind of talking and schmoozing, and uh, it's, you know, it's kind of electrically fun in some ways to hang out and drink with the people who taught you high school. Um, and then at one point, Mrs. Axelrod gets up, goes to the table goes to the bathroom, rather, and uh, Mr. Cohen says, who the fuck invited her? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I saw her in the hallway tonight, and I, I mentioned we were coming to Jekyll and Hyde. They were all like, John, oh, God, she's such a trip. Why would you fucking invite Mrs. Axelrod? And they all start telling their horrible Mrs. Axelrod stories. And I realize all of a sudden, like, I have done it again. I've mi tried to mix my two worlds. I've tried to bring the not cool kids in with the cool kids, but we're all adults now, ostensibly, right? That's the thing. And then I realize, oh shit, we never leave high school. And that's when I really start drinking. <laughs> I start fucking drinking. I mean business. And like they have a special, like there's the standard beer and wine list. There's the cocktail list. And then there's like the potion list. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> All right, Jekyll and Hyde, I see you and raise you. Let's do this. And I, uh, so I just get fucking shattered. And uh, the next morning I, I come to and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 22 and my metabolism's like this. It's Coke and two Advil and I am right as rain, you know. But I, I go into, I've got school the next day. I've got to go teach the next day. And I come in and I, I swing by Callahan's room. I'm like, I don't, um, I don't have the strongest memory of what happened last night. How uh, how did everything go? And he goes, you might want to smooth things over with Senora Blumenthal. You got a little overly flirty with Senora Blumenthal there. I'm like, oh, okay. That's not great. I will fix that. Thank you for telling me that. Sorry about the Mrs. Axelrod thing. I'm like, no, it's fine. She's just such a fucking dork. I'm like, yeah, she's a total nerd. That's, you're mean. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> And uh, that was it. That was a light. That was a 17-year romance with drinking uh, that didn't end till I was 39. And I finally, after years and years of watching all the cliques and the alliances and the bullshit and the backstabbing, I finally just came to terms and came to peace with the fact that you never leave high school. That's my story. <laughs>